Welcome to 558 Parkside Tech. Today in our Y segment, we're talking about the importance of the re-up in tech. I'm your tech plug, Mike. Let's get into it right after this. So the questions you ask why is what we're disclosing. Today I'm talking about tech and the re -up. You see, I liken tech to someone throwing a rock and it hits you and you turn around looking from what direction did it actually come from and you can't determine which direction. All you know if you've been struck. I imagine that's how some feel who were in tech for quite some time who wake up and find out that they've been laid off or outsourced because of their tech knowledge. This is not right. This is not cool. This is fucking bullshit. And in some cases, it's because they did not re-up. You see, in tech, if you're in security or you're in networking or you're a developer or you're an analyst, you can't stick to that one thing. You've got to consistently re-up, continually learn something new. I know many people in DevOps, a group that I've worked in for quite some time, that never wrote code. They know nothing about databases, never did an API, don't really know what it is, but they're in DevOps, which is one of the most important positions in tech. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. In tech, you can't let your skills get stale. You must continue to learn, continue to grow, continue to seek new opportunities. Because all companies, when there's a new project, tend to scale up. They hire a bunch of people. They have no idea exactly all the people they need. They just want to get the job done fast, get this application built fast. If they're moving from on-prem to the cloud, their debt migration period, they're hustling to get that migration going. But then after that, they try to determine who they should cut. They look Looking for people, I think there's a term, I forgot the term, it's, it's a term where you get one person that has all these skills, and that's what they're looking for. They're looking for that developer who knows how to implement in the cloud, who understands Docker, who or who understands DevOps, who, who knows how to um, handle performance, determine what are the performance bugs are, who even write code with performance in mind. That's the world in which we are in, in tech. So it's always, always, continue to re-up in tech. You see, I would tell anybody who's in tech, every year, right around the time where I think every company has a thing where the managers go off and figure out who's gonna get what raise and when you're gonna get a raise, and or they go off and determine what's the goal for next year and outline what's the high priority goals for what applications will be put in. You need to take that time to determine what you need to learn each year. Treat it like you're on a team, a professional team where you gotta go off and work on your skills. You gotta go off and train for the upcoming year. I think that's what everybody should do in tech. And that's what I would say to anybody who's in tech for a long time or who's new to tech. Never get comfortable because tech is always changing. You're always trying to determine how to do more with less. That is the goal of the fourth industrial revolution is to automate everything we touch and see including what you do. Keep that in mind. Tech owes you nothing. Continue to grow. You see, a lot of developers back in the day, the Cobalt developers from the 60s, that thing lasted for a long time. People put people to college, schools, housing, everything. But that isn't the world we live in now. Thank you for joining me today on this wise segment where we spoke about reading up in tech and the importance of continuing to grow and evolve in tech. If you found this information informative, please feel free to subscribe or hit the like button or join me at 558parksidetech.com with our other training and how-to videos in tech. And on a side note, 558ers, remember to safeguard your happiness because that is the key to everything else. I'm your tech plug, Mike. As always, kicking you the ism. That's all I got today. Peace. Five, fifth, eight. Why this program got the bug like COVID? Why I wanna break this computer and just throw it? Why it ain't coming out exactly how I wrote it? Why, oh why, oh why I get into coding? That's right. Cause in the future's where it's going. I polymorphous into this moment, so don't blow it. So my inheritance can keep on growing. I built my own throne and encapsulate who going. Yeah, and extract all the stones that you throw in. So I take my time and build it like the Romans. So the questions you ask why is what we're disclosing.